hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so these are the ingredients you're going to need for this powerful pack henna deep conditioning treatment you're going to need extra virgin olive oil rosemary and tea tree essential oils you're going to need henna amla shikai kai and brahmi and then the two other ingredients i forgot to add to this part of the video is coconut oil and a conditioner you're going to then need a saucepan. Make sure you have it on your lowest heat setting. Add one tablespoon of henna, one four teaspoon of brahmi, one four teaspoon of amla, and one four teaspoon of shikai kai. Now, all of these herbs come from India. And as you already know, most Indian men, women, children, grandmas, grandpas, they have absolutely gorgeous, strong, shiny, and most long hair and that's because they swear by these herbs now to give you a little background knowledge on the benefits behind these herbs um, henna actually helps seal your hair cuticle to prevent breakage and it even restores the acid alkaline balance to your scalp Brahmi strengthens your hair follicles, allowing you to grow stronger hair. Amla, also known as Indian gooseberry, helps hair grow really fast and it also helps increase the blood circulation on your scalp, um, allowing you to strengthen your hair follicles, of course, and stimulating um, not just stronger hair, but new hair growth as well. Um, Chikai Kai is also known for hair fruit or fruit for the hair and um, it's high in vitamin C as well as vitamin A, D, E, and K antioxidants which are essential for healthy and rapid hair growth. These vitamins provide the hair follicles with necessary micronutrients to help your hair grow really fast and healthy. And what they all share in common is that they actually condition your hair and add shine and luster to your hair. That's the reason why they have such gorgeous hair. They hair be popping all the time. <laughs> and then I go ahead and I add two tablespoons of organic coconut oil. Now, if you're allergic to coconut oil, no problem. You can substitute it with... Um, castor oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, sesame oil, whatever other oil um, you prefer to substitute it is fine. Um, and then two tablespoons of extra virgin organic oil. Now it doesn't have to be organic, but this is my preference. And you mix it all up. Uh, I like to warm up the herbs and oils simply because it just penetrates that much deeper into my hair shaft. Um, it kind of draws out all the nutrients. Um, it makes it that much more potent, that much more stronger when you warm it up on a very low heat setting. And um, there you go. Get it nice and warm like this. Well, the way it looks. <laughs> and then you go ahead and you transfer it over to either a glass container or um, plastic container or bowl it's fine it's to your preference I like glass and this is the conditioner that I use suave with almond and shea butter I paid like two bucks for it at the family dollar store and honestly I don't measure this simply because I just can't I have to eyeball it to get the consistency that I like with this mixture so I won't recommend um, measuring it because um, clearly you see here, you have to eyeball it until you get that consistency you're comfortable with. So I like a thick consistency as you see here. Once I get it to the consistency I like, I add my essential oils and I only add about a nice hefty full drop or even two of each essential oil. And what I like about these oils is that not only do they stimulate your um, uh, scalp to promote healthy hair growth, but they also antifungal. So they fight off any bacteria you have built up on your scalp, um, whether it's dandruff or any other bacteria you have built up. Guess what? These essential oils, rosemary and tea tree oil, they fight off that bacteria. So this is the final look <laughs> the final outcome 
This is the consistency. It smells really good. Feels amazing on your scalp. You go ahead and seal it. Leave it in the fridge for two to three hours or a whole day. And boom. A not that wild beast. And this is the way your hair looks after the... Well, this is the amount of shedding after the treatment. Look at this. Almost nothing. Absolutely amazing. So this is the outcome of my hair after the treatment. It's very soft and manageable. It's bouncy. It smells good. It feels great. And as you already saw, I like shed three strands, which is nothing. That's how powerful this deep conditioning treatment is. Then I apply the um, hair therapy by Serena Key, and it's the natural keratin treatment. It's a cream glaze, so it basically manages your curls and tames your frizz. And here I am just playing around with my hair, figuring out what side looks better. <laughs> you already know how it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you won't miss out on my future DIY videos and product reviews. Thank you so much again and till next time.